earliest known domesticated plants, has been cultivated by human civilizations for over 12,000 years. It has many different uses, as we will discuss in this video, and can be used to improve upon a wide range of industries including textile, paper, fuel, building materials, nutrition, and farming. What exactly is hemp? The term hemp is used to describe varieties of the cannabis plant, which contain fiber, oil, seeds, and buds. To be considered hemp in the U.S., the plant must contain less than 0.02% delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the psychoactive chemical found in the bud of what's referred to as marijuana. This amount is insignificant, and you would have to smoke a joint of hemp roughly the size of a telephone pole in order to get the same high you would from a marijuana cigarette. Despite this fact, hemp has carried with it a bad reputation ever since the prohibition of the cannabis plant in the 1920s. Hemp is very easy to grow. It does not need to have land cleared to grow it, and it takes three months to grow before harvesting, which makes it the best biomass producer in the world. As hemp grows, it absorbs carbon out of the air. An acre of hemp absorbs five times more carbon dioxide than an acre of forest. Hemp also enriches the soil as it sheds its leaves throughout the season, creating a layer that retains moisture and compost that returns nutrients to the soil. Additional processing can turn hemp into fuel, and since it has such a high biomass, it is a good candidate for biofuels. Biodiesel can be made from the oils and hemp seeds and stalks with an efficiency of 97%. Ethanol and methanol can also be made by fermenting the cellulose in the stalks with an efficiency of around 74%. The net carbon emission created when using hemp as a biofuel is significantly decreased because of the carbon that hemp absorbs when it is growing. In addition, hemp can also be used at lower temperatures than petroleum diesel. This is important because petroleum diesel will gel when it reaches below 17.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Hemp can also be used as a building material. In 1941, Henry Ford created what he called the plastic car, which was made primarily from hemp plastic. This plastic was made using the cellulose of hemp and wheat straw and was lighter than steel, yet could withstand 10 times the impact without denting. Another use for hemp that we are seeing more and more today is to create hempcrete. Hempcrete is an insulator that is right now being used to insulate buildings throughout Europe as well as other parts of the world and is simply a mixture of hemp herds or shives and limestone. This hempcrete is only 1 20th of the compressive strength of regular concrete, but when it comes to being used as an insulator, it has a superior thermal resistance than the conventional wood and fiberglass insulation. Low air infiltration it is extremely durable as well as recyclable, and since hemp absorbs CO2 like all other plants, a one meter cubed block of hempcrete can theoretically lock up around 165 kilograms of carbon for decades within a home. This makes homes made from hempcrete technically carbon negative and very environmentally friendly. Hemp contains protein, all 20 known amino acids found in the body, and essential fatty acids such as omega-3 and omega-6. Not only does hemp have the essential amino acids and fatty acids necessary for life, but it also contains the correct ratio of them to meet the body's needs, making it one of the most nutritious foods on the planet. Hemp also contains phytonutrients, which help prevent diseases. It can be ingested raw, cooked, or crushed to extract the oil and drizzle over other foods. This is just the tip of the iceberg which encompasses all the benefits of the cannabis plant. I urge you all to go out and educate yourselves further on the great things this plant has to offer, as well as read the California Cannabis Hemp Initiative 2014 and vote when the time comes.